Are you ready to make the most mouthwatering hot dog around? Join me as I show you how I make the ultimate Coney dog. In just a few simple steps, I'll have you whipping up this street food like a pro. Hello, my name is David Ellis and I'm Pitbull from Machete Boys Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need to make the meat sauce for a Coney Island dog. Fun fact, did you know that Coney Island dogs were the meat sauce was originally made with beef hearts? Today, I'm using Minnesota Wagyu raised beef from my friends down at Rimley Custom Farms. To start, go ahead and get your one pound of ground beef right into your skillet there. If we were making burgers, I'd tell you not to process this too much, but we want to make fried crumbled beef here for this sauce to really shine through. Go ahead and combine that with two cups of water. What we're looking to do here is to make a meat slurry, and we want the pieces to be as fine as possible. So you want to go ahead and get your skillet fired up. As that begins to cook, you'll notice some of the gray, the gray fat start rising to the top. And what you want to do is just skim off that foam. And if you got one of those fancy skimmers, this will be this will be a little easier task for you. But we're going old school with straight spoon. Let's go ahead and get some flavor down in this meat mix. I'm starting off with a couple of tablespoons of my favorite hot sauce, Crybaby Craig's. Of course, you can use whatever your favorite is. And then I'm going to get a little bit of Worcestershire in there. If you haven't tried this W sauce, you need to. It's absolutely killer. We're going to throw down one tablespoon of that. If you don't have the W sauce, you can use Lee and Peppers or whatever you got laying around. Heinz, I think, makes a good Worcestershire too as well. And then we need a tablespoon of beef base. And I'm using the Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base here. And that's just going to really amp up that beef flavor. Next, let's go ahead and get a tablespoon of tomato paste mixed down in there. And then I'm using a tablespoon of Tillman's Competition Brew Barbecue Sauce. You can use whatever favorite barbecue sauce you got. You want something that's got a nice balance, so got a little smokiness to it, a little sweetness, a little kick of, kick of heat. Obviously, if you use a sweeter sauce, it's going to be a really sweet mix, meat mix, and that's not really what we're going for here. And we're really starting to cook here, so I'm going to go ahead and throw down some flavor. First up is the chili powder, and then we got the sweet basil. Don't use fresh stuff, use the dried stuff. Make sure that you break it down in your fist. Go ahead and bring some savoriness to the game with a little bit of garlic powder. If you review back to that graphic at the beginning, it's got all the measurements in there, but I just like to kind of eyeball it. And I think about a tablespoon is about the center of my hand there. I like a little extra garlic stuff going on there too. All right. And then it just says salt and pepper, but this is a great time to use an AP barbecue rub if you got one. If you haven't checked out the home style by the Real Man Meat Barbecue, this is a great opportunity to use it. And just give that all a stir here. And this smells absolutely delicious. All right, so we're going to let this simmer on low for about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and get our grill fired up in that time, get our hot dogs ready and our buns, shred some cheese, and chop up a little onion. So today I'm using a set of grill grates in my PK and a half chimney of high-quality charcoal briquettes. You can do this on a regular grill, or better yet, a griddle if you have one. The way I like to grill my hot dogs is I place them directly on the grates and let them cook for four minutes, flipping them every minute or using my tongs to roll them back and forth. You want to get nice crisp edges on your hot dogs without drying them out. Hot dogs are done, it's time to get the buns ready. And what we're going to do here is go ahead and slice off the edges. And trim off the sides, give them a little liposuction. And just a slice down the middle. It will hold up nicely with all of our toppings and our, our chili when we put it on there so it'll be nice and nice and good. We're going to butter this on all sides and then we're going to toast it on our grill. We want to make sure to toast each bun heavily so it can hold up to all the chili and goodness that we're going to pile on top of our dogs here. Our buns are nice and toasted, now it's time to put it all together. To get started, you want to put down a little yellow mustard. Leave that fancy deli mustard for your ham sandwich. Next up, go ahead and put down a nice bed of uh, onion on top. And finally, on top of all of that, we just want to put down a nice slather of our meat sauce. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? And there you have it folks, an authentic Coney Island hot dog. All that's left for you to do is take a bite and subscribe to Machete Boys Barbecue. Be sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next barbecue adventure. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.